Very good morning to all my dear friends. I am Prashant Mavani. I hope you all are doing good. It's a very beautiful morning today. Monday, new week starts. Let's have a new energy. Let's see what we have got in the Hindu today. But before that, a positive start. Uh, this is a special message uh, from Osho on Earth Day for all of us. Uh, what he says uh, to us that uh, we all are a guest. Leave this earth a little bit more beautiful, a little bit more uh, make it a bit more human, a uh, little bit more lovable, more fragrant uh, for all of uh, those people who are going to follow us. And this is our responsibility to ensure that our earth remains beautiful. We cannot clean and look after the whole earth. But if we divide this work between us, if we just look after our environment, uh, our, our surrounding, then if every single person on this earth, if we start uh, looking just uh, looking after just our environment, our environment or the things that are surrounding us, uh, then we can definitely uh, change the face of this earth and make it a bit good uh, for good. With this, uh, dear friends, uh, we have many articles on our table today. This one is about lost opportunities in London. It is about Chogam. This one is about Chogam as well. So I have clubbed both these articles together. I will go through them uh, in one go and then we have this uh, death penalty is not the answer yesterday i asked you a question and today you find this article here see this what i'm trying to say here is that uh, the questions that are provided to you dear friends uh, i have noticed this thing and it uh, gives me immense pain as well you see on regular basis i do understand that english viewership is limited uh, there are few people in our country compared to hindi speaking people you have uh, less people who speak and understand english isn't it so out of you guys who are going through this uh, hindu analysis on a regular basis on an average i can say somewhere around 10000 people right they you are the ones who go through this hindu analysis and the good thing about this hindu analysis uh, there are other hindu analysis as well provided by other channels uh, here on study iq we provide the best quality i'm not saying just the words you can go through it and you will find that it's not just a translation it's not just uh, breaking down things uh, or making it more simple it's not just limited to it it is about adding value and building your capacity and the questions like yesterday's question was a very important question you may find a direct or indirect question based on this particular issue of death penalty and why this uh, type of stringent laws uh, are not uh, you can say magical van or complete solution for the problems that we are seeing in our society you may find a question uh, like this one in your exam and this is the right time for you to provide your answer the thing is what happens and this is a very but this is a very important thing that I'm telling to you see it is a human behavior you might have observed that uh, many a times you feel that you want to pass a comment when I say comment I mean to say that you want to provide your answer in the comment section of this video isn't it but you think that okay it's fine someone else is already answering it my answer is more likely same so that's fine someone else can do it and this is the problem with our behavior that we leave it for someone else that this answer will be provided by this person to the sir this person is regularly providing answer so his answers are perfect it's fine no this is not how it works you too will have some creative ideas but what you are doing here is you are first of all relying on someone else to provide answers for you that means you are not forcing your mind or creating this state of mind in which you will think about it and this is the biggest loss all you have to do is take one step. It may look like a bhashan or too much of advice to uh, for you guys at present as I'm talking to you right now. But trust me, if you give it a go, after a couple of weeks or maybe after a couple of months, you won't have words uh, to thank me. You will literally not find words uh, to thank me. And this is a technique that I have learned from my teachers and I would like to pass it ahead. This one is about unprecedented crisis it is about judiciary this one is about a uh, cotton this hybrid cotton and why it has failed in our country very interesting article this one and this one is about that all trees are not wood that means that all 
trees are not part of forest with this dear friends can you identify this is a quiz sort of a question for you guys let me see how many of you can get it right and uh, the first one to get it right uh, you have to identify this flag can you tell me uh, this flag like uh, this flag belongs to which organization or a country or whatever just give me the name and the first one will get a personal congrats from me with this uh, you can download the PDF of this lecture from Twitter and Facebook there was some problem with my Twitter but now it is sorted out I have shared uh, the link of uh, 20th 21st and 22nd uh, Hindu analysis uh, links are already on my Twitter just in case if you haven't got it please check it out with this dear friends uh, study IQ provides pen drive and tablet courses for various different exams to find out more about it to check out studyiq.com all our pen drive and tablet courses are designed by the best faculties of our country now let's move on this is a map of uh, uh, the Chogam Commonwealth you have 52 countries uh, around the world uh, the name is given here I would leave it on you guys once you will download PDF you don't have to remember as you can understand you don't have to remember the names of all the countries uh, the history of Chogam is basically they were all under this British rule right uh, you have you can see here Sri Lanka is there Pakistan uh, there are other countries as well Bangladesh and uh, Australia New Zealand uh, you find other countries of Africa South Africa uh, Canada uh, uh, here as well in South America so this were the countries that were ruled by this uh, British Empire and later on they all became independent at present they are not ruled by British Empire it is a sort of informal group of like-minded countries uh, they have decided to come together you can see that they are from different continents isn't it and the other thing is uh, the dear friends uh, they have this common thing called English uh, English language is connecting all these uh, countries together it's not just about language it is about culture as well you find a bit of English culture or touch of English culture and it's not just about one-way street right I have lived in England for a very long period of time and I know that curry is one of their favorite food right British people they love curry uh, they love Indian food uh, they love uh, nowadays there is when I say nowadays it's been like more than a decade now uh, in their gyms and other places you find this Bollywood dance uh, sessions and other things so uh, it's not just uh, India and British culture you find other peoples as well their songs and other things you have a touch of uh, Caribbean there many shows are hosted by Caribbean people or people from Caribbean origin and things like that so uh, you have cricket as well uh, this is a common thing that is connecting most of the countries we play cricket with this uh, West Indies countries you have Australia New Zealand team is there isn't it uh, South Africa is there uh, in African countries other Africa uh, you can find Zimbabwe and Kenya uh, still it is expanding Pakistan Sri Lanka right so this is the common thing um, and there are other things as well I can go on and on uh, you have tea uh, that is a common thing common habit of uh, people living in this part of the world or having this common relationship uh, you have this curry as well and other things now uh, this uh, Chogom meeting took place in London Chogom stands for this Commonwealth heads of government meeting and the main theme was to re-energize this Commonwealth uh, to reinvigorate this Commonwealth uh, 53 countries with England 53 or you can say this uh, UK we have this uh, 53 countries and we talked about this Commonwealth 2.0 basically it means new version we need new version because the way things are going on around the world uh, we need to uh, give new life to this uh, this Chogam or Commonwealth and uh, because we have this many similarities it is easier for us uh, to get on board and get along with each other pretty well uh, importance of India can be understood by this personal invitation of uh, Prince Charles he visited India a couple of months ago if you can remember this or you can recollect this uh, visit he was here in India and uh, one of the main purpose of his visit was to invite personally invite Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, to attend this Chogam meeting and this indicates the importance uh, that uh, India holds for this Chogam the other thing is after a decade uh, 
Prime Minister Modi took place. When I say Prime Minister Modi, means Prime Minister Modi is, uh, you can say, the first Indian Prime Minister to attend Chogam in a decade. We haven't attended it for uh, nearly 10 years now, and now we are attending it. So this indicates that we are also finding this particular Chogam bit important. The other thing, uh, or there are some questions that we can raise here, this uh, succession of uh, Prince Charles. At present, uh, so far, uh, Elizabeth II was uh, the head of this Commonwealth, but now uh, she expressed this feeling that uh, it should be a son, uh, Prince Charles, uh, that should succeed. Uh, so this is uh, without, uh, you can say, it's not a touch of democracy that we see here. And of course, in future, things are going to change. This is again something that is been taken a bit bitterly by other countries. We talked about this blue charter, blue charter on ocean governance and Commonwealth connectivity agenda for trade and investment. Blue charter. We are talking about free navigation, open seas and oceans for other countries. Every country. Uh, following international rules and regulation, Commonwealth Connectivity is basically countering this Belt and Road Initiative of, of China. So this could be one of the reasons why we are a bit enthusiastic about this Commonwealth or uh, giving a new life to this Commonwealth. As far as India and UK uh, bilateral relationships are concerned, uh, this illegal Indians living over there is a big problem for UK and it is also a big headache for India as well because what happens is because of this illegal um, immigrants uh, living in UK uh, the other legit applications are going through more scrutiny and people find it very difficult to visit UK even for tourism purpose and this is not healthy for bilateral relationship between both the countries it is not healthy for the tourism sector of UK so and it creates a bad image a bad brand of our people as well so we were supposed to sort out this uh, thing but signing of this bilateral agreement on this illegal or preventing this illegals living and returning them as early as possible to India has not been sorted out yet India was uh, asking for uh, asking to UK for being a bit more lenient but uh, so far, we can say that uh, these signals are coming out that post uh, Brexit, uh, we are going to see a sort of rise in, in, in trade or you can say London or England or UK, whatever. London, say for example, will be uh, inclined more towards uh, trade in goods, uh, importing and exporting goods rather than services and when we say services we are specifically talking about humans right we are specifically talking about human resources so like allowing more people uh, entering uk working there for a couple of years and then they can come back or then they can extend their visa and other things so this is something that we are not going to see so far this is what uh, is coming out or this is uh, what we can read between the lines uh, so far then you have this wind rush generation just keep this concept in mind it's not uh, something directly associated with india but many a times you find this type of things as well and it is always better to have a sort of extra knowledge isn't it when i say there is nothing called extra but to make it easy this is the word that i have to use so if we go back in the history of uh, Britain, you find this thing that I have mentioned here, and one of the reasons why I said cricket uh, or in West Indies because uh, British uh, colonies, you find them here, isn't it? Barbados and uh, Jamaica and other places are there, West, in, uh, West Indian islands. So people from this part, Caribbean part, uh, they arrived here in UK in 1940s, between 1940s uh, and early 1970s, and they were brought here with their families. Uh, for for uh, filling this gap uh, that was created because l lots of youngsters passed away in this uh, in this world wars uh, that took place world war one and world war two so there was a void so to fill this void uh, people were uh, imported you can say by this british ships uh, they were uh, brought in uh, to england to work in these factories and other things and now today they their second and third generations are living in uk and 
they are not uh, considered as citizens uh, they are considered as undocumented migrants and many times they are not being provided with this uh, health services you have this national health service in uk nhs so they are not providing provided this sort of facilities because they are not considered as uh, citizens so this is a big uh, issue uh, for caribbean people and uh, not all of them but some of them uh, particularly this vi wind rush generation and uh, uh, this is uh, this is not taken very well by this commonwealth caribbean states because at the end of the day they are their diaspora living over there so this was an issue that was raised by this uh, commonwealth uh, Ca caribbean states and uh, at present this theresa may the prime minister has apologized as well for this thing we also see this uh, populist force uh, rising around the world anti-muslim anti-immigrant sort of thing taking place in or a wave going on in europe which is not at all good isn't it it is not healthy for globalization it is not healthy for human humanity right uh, there is no point of opposing someone based on his or her religion and you cannot uh, stereotype a whole religion and things like that so anyways uh, this sort of things are going on around the world and together this commonwealth can fight uh, this sort of waves uh, it can play a very important role in fight against this uh, modern slavery uh, and uh, we can clean up this world's ocean we can fight malaria other developmental issues like uh, as far as commonwealth is concerned as far as this uh, country called uk is concerned uh, they provide huge amount of charity to india if i'm not wrong they are number two or number three as far as charity coming in uh, is concerned india they provide huge amount of charity used for education for other things uh, for ganga rejuvenation and other things so in this way, uh, this countries or this platform can play a very important role in making our uh, country or uh, the world a bit more inclusive uh, and uh, so that next generation of this Commonwealth citizens can work together with each other. We have some sort of bond through which we can carry on this legacy. But still, many things uh, uh, will be needed to kick in life in this Commonwealth. Moving on to this important item, this is called death penalty is not the answer i'm sure you might have figured out this thing because we have some very good examples in front of us now yesterday president signed this ordinance uh, that introduces the death penalty for those convicted of raping girls below the age of 12. this is going to create a bit of barrier i do understand but at the same time there are many studies that indicate that because of too much of this uh, you know stringent punishment uh, this many times these perpetrators they kill they kill their victims uh, thinking that if uh, this victim will survive if uh, uh, if this victim will tell uh, her story to other people then he will be caught this victim will be uh, this uh, uh, accused will be caught or this uh, culprit will be co uh, caught and because of this fear what they do is uh, they kill uh, their their victims and this is a very sad thing so many a times uh, this death penalty and uh, too much of a stringent when i said stringent i mean to say death penalty is not the ultimate solution and i'm saying this thing with great responsibility i know emotionally we would ask for death penalty but we have to think about it whether this is going to be uh, a proper solution not at all this is this is just you can say the end of a thing but we have to uh, think about uh, this uh, creating this whole process first of all we have to uh, create barriers uh, we have to uh, create confidence in our girls first of all this is very important thing the second thing is the biggest threat and this is a very strange thing uh, that you find I am not aware about any species of living being on this earth where you find that a female uh, species or female side is uh, being tortured, being killed uh, or being a victim of this, of this, uh, you can say this misbehavior of male part. And this happens only in human beings. The biggest threat for women throughout the history so far you will find it is men right this is this is a proven thing so 
the problem is not with the woman the problem is with the men so we have to change or you can say rectify this upbringing of men lot right if they are uh, viewing a ladies lot as a product or a thing then that is something wrong with their upbringing and this should be changed at family level level and here women can play a very important role mothers can play a very important role the other thing I believe is a bit of martial art and other things that can help as well uh, special self-defense techniques uh, should be uh, this girls should be trained this may look a bit of burden but this thing will change right it will send out this right signal in the society so this is something that should be strictly followed right from a very tender age to their college age or something they should uh, be means it should be made compulsory a bit of self-defense so at least uh, someone may not be that good with self-defense a lady but the other ladies can help them so in this way uh, this can be sorted out this is my per this is what i personally believe the other thing and which is very important we have to sort out this police investigation the behavior of police the way they do things uh, forensic investigation all this latest technologies and other things dedicated teams uh, sorting out this judicial process special courts right uh, lack of uh, or not allowing this uh, repeated adjournments and other things uh, taking out this class caste religion and gender angle out of this investigation uh, using the best practices and other things if we do and imp implement this sort of things then i believe that there will be a drastic fall and uh, uh, it's not if we think about it uh, right uh, first of all we have to believe this thing that yes we can change the course of our history forget about what uh, took place back in history when I say back in history I'm talking about this uh, some uh, mythical or you know this um, rape uh, or abduction and other stories that we find yes uh, this thing are there in our literature and other portion but we can change uh, this thing and India can become a lighthouse as far as this woman empowerment is concerned we can do it if we believe uh, that yes we can do it with this uh, unprecedented crisis it is about judicial appointments the things that are going on in judiciary at present a couple of days ago we have talked about it in detail we have analyzed this thing from various different angles you know the problem of uh, judiciary at present you have this uh, judiciary versus uh, executives you have legislature versus versus this judiciary then you have uh, problems going on within the judiciary as well and at present we are seeing this opposition parties they are thinking about uh, or oh, this process has started as well uh, about this uh, impeaching uh, chief justice of india because of this master of the roster uh, stand that is taken by chief justice of india uh, it is also said that uh, the reason why this opposition parties are uh, are in process of this impeachment is because they want to send out the signal that uh, if you are going to be even a little bit soft on this uh, Ayodhya case then you will find that this thing that opposition will unite and impeach you so this is also coming out in media that this is this could be one of the reason uh, one thing that is very important back uh, in 1998 uh, somewhere around that point of yes it was in 1998 when Supreme Court itself said that when when it is talking about Chief Justice of India it means uh, this whole collegium so at present what we are seeing is this just one person but uh, back in time Supreme Court has said uh, referred that uh, when you say Chief Justice of India it's not just about one person it is about this five members of Collegium but we don't see this unity in five members at present so these are the problems that are going on now uh, this uh, vice president it, it depends on the vice president whether to accept this or Rajya Sabha chairman to be more precise to accept this this motion or not as far as this uh, a news item is concerned you find one news item today that it is accepted by the president uh, uh, beg your pardon vice president and uh, vice president has sought the view of attorney general on this impeachment process with this uh, all trees are not wood uh, the forest survey the latest one has uh, has calculated the, the method of calculation 
of forest is a bit naive and a bit deceptive because uh, this plantation trees, plantation trees are there for commercial purpose, isn't it? And they will be chopped off in near future and they don't represent this proper ecosystem, isn't it? Uh, be, because natural forests have multiple ecosystem functions, none of which can be provided by commercial plantations. You don't find those birds and um, monkeys and other species and other shrubs and herbs and other items uh, that you find in natural forest in commercial plantations. So, uh, classifying plantations under this forest category is a not a good idea at all. The other thing is we have got a seven billion dollar in this public compensatory forestation fund. This is a sad thing as well because that means uh, this much permission has been given by central government. But this money is not used at present, and this can be utilized uh, for uh, forest development protecting and restoring natural forest uh, because it is very important for our climate change and it can be achieved only if we have local communities tribal people local people if we have them on board if we have them as decision making body uh, they are part of decision making process as well as decision decision making body and implementing body if we have them if we use that traditional knowledge the local knowledge then we can succeed moving on to this uh, cotton article for sorry about that i have uh, forgot to add the name here but it is about cotton i have already showed you where you find this article so basically we our bt cotton is uh, you find this pink wall pink ball worm infestation uh, taking place in our country and this is creating problems for our farmers now India is a country that is considered as a pioneer in this technology of BT cotton. It was Chandrakant T. Patel, uh, the first person in the world to come out with this commercial cotton hybrid called Hybrid 4H4 in 1970s. And uh, since then we have seen that uh, there was a sort of boom in the market as well because of this uh, this hybrid cotton we saw this mini employment boom in 1980s and now you can connect this 1980s boom with this drop in poverty was it a day before yesterday on saturday we were talking about this drop down in poverty because of employment boom or this growth of agriculture in 80s era so this could be one of the reason behind it but uh, 25 million people particularly women uh, joined this labor intensive hybrid industry because of this bt cotton what we are seeing at present is that uh, uh, our our yields are are dropping down if we compare our yield then you find that uh, we produce 500 kilo of lint per hectare this is about fourth of or 25 percent or less than 25 percent of what australia and turkey plant with their op varieties and uh, the reason why we are doing the reason why we face this sort of thing is uh, we are conducting or we have made huge mistakes here huge mistake is that we have given permission to too many different varieties of hybrids uh, and because of this thing we find poor quality hybrids are uh, are there in the market and this is something that is uh, be, being detrimental for our farmers the other thing is uh, uh, farmers because of they have too many of uh, this hybrid varieties available too many options out there and they don't know exactly which one is best for them and what is going on at present in our country is that an item or this hybrid BT cotton pro variety that is uh, that is useful or that can be used only at a place that is well irrigated is being found in the place where you don't have irrigation facility so this is basically a recipe for disaster we have to sort this thing out we have to get rid of this low inferior quality of hybrid items that are available giving too many license or too much of license to all these uh, companies is not going to help us and we have to have this customization a customized solution for our farmers we have to educate them and this bags and packages should have clear uh, indication they should explain this thing that if you have this 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 things then only you can use it apart from that we have this tall and bushy variety uh, which are basically diverting this fertilizer energy uh, towards leaves rather than lint and these are the reasons why our production is going down with this dear friends an important news item because uh, we had too many articles today so I have limited myself here I have just provided you the top line 
Make sure you find these articles. They are very important. Modi Ji and Xi Jinping on 27th of this month, Modi is going to visit China. And this is going to be an informal, not a formal, but informal conversation between Modi and Xi Jinping. So this is a big thing. Uh, we are going to find many articles. And from today itself, uh, you should follow this uh, this uh, news item go through this news item observe and note down all important things what are the problems what are the opportunities and things like that security forces have gone down 16 naxals in maharashtra uh, don't create fuss over a couple of rapes uh, has been said by a junior minister which is a very sad statement vyanka takes up opposition's notice it is about this impeachment which i have already told you and mega sez's to spur electronic export uh, with this we have this sad picture of uh, families crying because uh, they have lost their dear ones uh, a, a suicide attack took place in Afghanistan uh, 57 people have died many have got injuries because of this suicide attack uh, this is the scenario of our different cities isn't it you find cows and all these birds and uh, piles and piles and mountains of rubbish everywhere and can you see this plastic is quite visible isn't it uh, this is a big problem yesterday we celebrated this earth today we started our conversation with Oso's quote of making this world a bit better you can see it everywhere nearby freshwater bodies so this is a big problem we need to end this plastic pollution particularly this re this uh, uh, you know use and throw type of plastic we need to get rid of it altogether uh, we can um, reduce its demand if we stop using it then the supply will fall down as well what do you understand by this funny picture here or cartoon here and uh, with this uh, these are your questions and I would like you guys to uh, go through this articles download this PDF go through this video and once you go through this then you can refine your question or refine your answer basically uh, the question that I asked you yesterday that's everything I'll see you all soon don't forget to give us your like. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.